What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to break down the new and approved Doom Knight for Fetch Quest Worlds. Let's get into it. I have really enjoyed my time using the new Doom Knight class. Well, it's not technically new, it's the same class. They just changed the skills on it. They buffed a lot of the skills. Actually, it's an all around buff. I don't think they nerfed any part of this class. I've been using it for about five hours today. I've done like a 50 PVP matches. I've done a lot of farming on the testing server, uh, boss solos. I even soloed the Reaper. That's the gameplay you're seeing right now on the testing server. This, it lasted so long. I didn't die, neither did the Reaper. I just had to end it because it, it was like 20 minutes of straight farming and nothing happened. Like after I cut the video, uh, because there's too much footage. I didn't need that much footage I just kept farming and the guy didn't die. I didn't die. It was just a stalemate basically his health was slowly going down So yeah, let's get in to what makes this class as good as it is right now Okay, let's quickly go over buffs so soul steel your two skill got a dot damage double a damage on hit increase to 200% up from 30% so that's a huge increase uh, now applies Crack Soul, which increases your target damage taken by 10% for 8 seconds. Now, I don't know if that 10% that uh, lasts for 8 seconds of damage increased to the enemy. I don't know if that's like Lightcaster, where the whole room gets that damage increase. That'd be interesting to know that. I think it might just be for yourself, but it'd be cool if that was a Lightcaster-like skill. Now, Soul Steel is what makes this class insane because if you get to five stacks, which is max stack, by the way, uh, it will start healing you for double your damage dealt. Now, I don't know uh, if you, it does about 1k damage. So it's healing you every time you hit that two skill, which is insane. It's on a three second cooldown. So you have a heal on a three second cooldown. And if you put haste on your class, I'm not, excuse me, not haste. Uh, yeah, actually it is haste. I think uh, on your class with the wizard enhancement it increases the cooldown even less So that's insane like this two skill keeps you alive And that's why you're seeing the Reaper on the testing server being soloed and I'm not dying Now I'm gonna be completely honest the rest of these buffs are kind of irrelevant considering how good your two skill is You can literally just spam your two skill and kill almost anything in the game But you know let's say you want to get that done a little faster soul crash is guaranteed to hit will never crit but applies either feared or despaired feared reducing the targets dodge by 50 and despair reducing the crit rate by 50 this could be good for pvp i did a lot of pvp with this class and i did not use this skill very often i i wouldn't i wouldn't use this for pvp now void strike uh changes the deal damage based on hp the lower your hp the more damage you do now, I tried to use this in PvP, it failed every time. Uh, maybe that's because it's a melee skill and it's not ranged and I wasn't close enough when I used it. Or maybe it just wasn't popping off or maybe it's, it's bugged right now. I don't know, but it was previously bugged to work off your magic points. So it's using your HP now, which is good. I guess they fixed that bug, but I don't know. I never got this to pop off or maybe it just doesn't do that much damage. I don't know. I, I, I think I've seen some people hit like 20Ks with this skill. So don't take my word for it, but off my personal experience, it wasn't that good. So uh, blood offering, increased blood rate, self buff, and self damage by 70%. That's pretty good. Aggression, passive. Okay, both your passives get a 15% buff. Or a 5% buff, excuse me. So that is all of the skill changes for the new Doom Knight class. Now, if you want to see some PvP, I'll leave some at the end here. Thank you guys for tuning in the video. That's all my thoughts on it too. I think the class is really good. It is a member only class. It's available at sh slash join Shadowfall. Uh, you get the NPC in the first room there. Uh, if you have rank 10 healer and fighter, you can get it for gold as a member or you can buy it for AC. It's recommended just farming the two uh, rank 10 classes. It's not too hard to get. Um, it is a member only class, which kind of sucks. But uh, I think it's pretty good. I think it's a viable class. Uh, it's not as good as, say, like a Stone Crusher or a Lightcaster or VHL, uh, what have you. But I think it's a decent class for what it is. And it's pretty easy to get, too. So, And it can be a change of pace from using those normal overpowered classes also. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. Enjoy this PvP gameplay. This is raw. I took exactly 10 matches. And uh, I won, I think, 
a few and I lost most of them because it's not a very good PvP class, at least not in my hands. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.